What's your favorite quote from a non-famous person? Fellow worker, don't worry about him, it's the smart ones you have to worry about. Reminds me of Captain Jack Sparrow's quote, me? I'm dishonest, and a dishonest man you can always trust to be dishonest. Honestly. It's the honest ones you want to watch out for, because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. As a coder it is absolutely the stupid ones you have to worry about. If you can barely afford it, you can't afford it Redditor from years back I've taken it to heart since I've read that line. If you can't buy it twice don't buy it once. Oof. Just dropped an uncomfortable amount of my income because I was desperate to experience finally having my own one bedroom in Silicon Valley. Told myself I'd get more writing done and it would help with my mental health, but three months in I'm constantly worried it's just a huge waste of money. Hoping this is one saying I can eventually disprove. Beware of people who say keep your friends close and your enemies closer because you'll never know which you are until it's too late. Edited to close the quotation marks apologies for the error. Speaking of turning idioms around, I've always liked, the early worm gets eaten. I like that. I don't know if I picked it up from somewhere or what but I always say, the answer will always be no unless you ask. Living by that has really paid off in big ways. Brother-in-law as a teenager, don't ask. They might say no. It's free to ask is something my mom always says. Come on, you can always take one more step a lieutenant said it to me when I was doing basic infantry training. He literally meant it in the sense that I should keep running, in full gear in burning hot sun after several days with little to no sleep, but I have taken the saying with me and I now use it for when things are going badly and I need some motivation. I feel this. I'm shit at pacing myself during the run and typically the guy that's pacing me would just say you hate running don't you? Well run faster so you don't have to anymore. I was struggling with changing my brakes for the first time and my brother-in-law didn't have an easy answer. Sometimes you just have to make it happen. I've made it happen 1000 times since then. It's one thing not to care what others think. It's another not to own a mirror. I like this better than all of the idgaf what folks think of me ones. If a ton of people hate you, it may be you. Damn, well said. If you're gonna make a mistake, make it a good one. My high school band director. In the context of music, he always just meant it to be confident, even if you aren't totally sure you're right. If you start playing your part a bit too early, at least make it a clean entrance. Play the wrong note. It better still be in tune. But beyond music, I've still applied that quote to other aspects of my life. Even if I'm not sure that I'm doing something right, I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities. My music teacher used to say if you make a mistake just do it twice and call it jazz. Wrong and strong is the mantra of most performers I've interacted with, D. My mom, every bad decision I've ever made in life was out of fear. Smart lady. Bring the guacamole. My friend was tired of there not being guacamole at parties, despite having salsa and cheese sauce available for chips. So another friend told him to bring it himself. It was was like a rural version of be the change you want to see in the world. But the guacamole version really stuck with me. If you want guacamole, don't complain someone else isn't bringing it. Just bring it yourself. First I laughed, then I realized this is great advice. Be the guacamole you want to see at a party. I've read this one here on Reddit, but it's a pretty good quote, and apparently the guy who posted the quote actually came up with it, a loose cannon eventually points your way. This quote is so good, somebody should put it on a script for something. Very good one, I'ma be using it. Somebody on Reddit told a story and their mom said, let go or be dragged in regards to a relationship that went sour. This would have changed my life if I heard it 10 years earlier. It would have changed your life had you listened, rather than heard. You may have never known what you were hearing until the same moment you did. I stayed with someone I shouldn't have for almost 7 years. 
you never know until you know, and you always think you should have known sooner. I'm glad you're out of it. What does it say about our society that we have nothing better to do than to get so wasted we can't remember what we did to have fun my high school band director on using drugs and alcohol. I've always felt this way I don't really drink cause I don't wanna spend the money on it and also feel like if I need to be drinking to enjoy something I probably don't really wanna do it in the first place. I have no desire to fuck with any drugs that fuck with my memory. If I can't remember my good experience, it's basically throwing money down the toilet. People who say they are brutally honest tend to care more about being brutal than being honest. Hey, former brutally honest chick here. Once I realized that everyone, every single person on earth, has insecurities I absolutely let up. I say realized because I was always told everyone had their own issues but I guess I never really believed it. If that makes sense. I don't know when it happened but I came to a point where I just started listening to people and instead of hitting them with some aggressive nonsense, I would just be there for them and give an opinion when asked. It's still my honest opinion but the delivery is softer. So, as you quoted, more honest and less brutal. I have more close friends now. Beware the self-titled straight shooter. I told my dad I'd been smoking cigarettes. He's 64 with emphysema from smoking for 40 years. I thought he'd give me some health reasons to stop, instead he says, you idiot, smoking is how they enslave poor people. Haven't smoked since. I appreciate this, and I'm going to remember this on my quest to go through 2020 without smoking. Furthest I've made it is 8 months and I'm hoping to be done with it forever after this. Same about alcohol. Without us, you do boring stuff. With us, you do boring stuff too but it's awesome because I'm here. A friend. My best friend passed away a few years ago, way before his time. And if you were to sum up our friendship, I think this is it. It was awesome cause he was there. I still do all the same stuff, but it's not so awesome anymore. Don't waste your one phone call on me. Dad never break more than one law at a time. Grandpa. I can imagine them both telling you this from a couch when you were headed out to meet up with friends as a teenager. Never break more than one law at a time. So true. Dad pointed out, with real life examples, of everyone we ever knew how had the tiniest bit of trouble with the law. No exceptions. They were doing two or more stupid things at once. Two things I can't fix are dead and stupid, so don't wake me up for either of them. 3 RD shift co-worker, to their kids in the morning. No Billy, he said we shouldn't wake him for that. We're just going to have to bury her ourselves. You can't reason someone out of a position they didn't reason themselves into. Someone on Reddit. John Oliver worded a similar idea in last week tonight's episode covering psychics, for anyone that does believe in psychic powers, I know there is nothing I can say that can convince you otherwise. Logic isn't the reason that you believe in them, and it won't be the reason that you stop. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future something my dad said that has always stuck with me. I heard of something similar, show me your friends, associates and I will show you who you are. So. I have no friends. You don't have to like the whole Buffett my dad on whether you have to agree 100% with a politician to vote for them. Hey, what if we could vote on issues the way we vote on politicians? 75% required for a one vote pass. Otherwise it takes two votes to enact. My grandfather, what people think about me is their business. My mum always taught me that other people's opinions of me are none of my business. It's a helpful one. If you aren't getting better at something, you're getting worse at it. My high school band director. I think about it a lot and it motivates me to keep up my skills instead of letting them slip away. The world didn't get worse homie, your eyes got wider. A YouTube comment, I don't remember what video but I think about this a lot. Wow. 
it doesn't hurt that someone is helping you, unless, in the first place, you are worried about needing help. A friend that was in wheelchair. Knowledge is knowing, and wisdom is being able to apply what you know. Former boss, Andre Levesque, when in doubt, be unreasonable. Second favorite quote from the same guy, in all my years, nobody has ever called me a bitch. You're fired. That was the first of seven times he fired me. How the hell did he hire you back six times? What's the first one mean to you? Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.